Hello everyone, today I want to revisit the problem 2 of IMO 2018. Since the previous video is my very first video on YouTube, it has a really bad soundtrack. I apologize for it if you have a hard time of understanding it. So hope this video can fit you better. Let me start re reading the problem. We want to find all numbers n larger than 3 such that there exist real numbers a1, a2 until an plus 2, satisfying that the product of ai and ai plus 1 plus 1 equals to ai plus 2. In particular, by definition, we have an plus 1 is a1 and an plus 2 is a2. So the first thing we want to do is try out some small numbers of n we can, for example, n equals to 3 or 4, and see what happened. Indeed, it is not hard to find out that when n equals to 3, there exists solution with a1 equals to minus 1, a2 equals to minus 1, and a3 equals to 2. So a simple implication of this uh, solution is that if we take n as a multiple of 3, then we can simply concatenate this sequence minus 1, minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 1, 2, and this, this naturally gives a solution for this multiples of 3. This is nice, and then you may try like n equals to 4 or n equals to 5, and I guess it wouldn't take long to convince you that it is not possible to find such a sequence. But now the question is, how can we prove it? Like for any n which is not a multiple of 3, we actually don't have any solutions. So here, I want to present a solution which is different from the one in my previous video. And this solution is really decent and beautiful. I mean, basically it takes two lines to get the correct answer. And let me show you how to do that. So we have this relationship of ai times ai plus 1 plus 1 equals to ai plus 2. So the idea is to multiply this relationship first by ai plus 2 for both sides. So by doing that, we get ai, ai plus 1, ai plus 2, plus ai plus 2 equals to ai plus 2 square. And the sec second thing is to multiply by this relationship by ai minus 1. So in this case, we get ai minus 1, ai, ai plus 1, plus ai minus 1 equals to ai plus 2, ai minus 1. So in particular, if i equals to 1, a0 means uh, a n by definition. So now if we sum up these uh, relationships from 1 to n, we get the sum of a i, a i plus 1, a i plus 2, plus the sum of a i equals to the sum of a i squared. And if we do the same thing for the second line, we get sum of a i minus 1, a i, a i plus 1, plus the sum of a i is equal to sum of a i plus 2, a i minus 1. So if we look at the left hand side of these two equations, indeed they are just some permutation of uh, others. So this means we have the sum of a i square equals to sum of a i plus 2, a i minus 1. And this simply means that a i plus 2 equals to a i minus 1 for any i. And indeed, this is enough to conclude because for any number n which is not a multiple of 3, we have say a1 equals to a4 equals to a7 and so on. So each time by adding 3 to the index, we get the same number. However, 3 is not um, like a factor of n, 
basically this means that ai equals to aj for any i different to j. So by adding 3 to the index, indexes, we go through all the numbers between 1 and n, modular n. And this means that ai squared plus 1 equals to ai, which is impossible because uh, it doesn't have any real solutions. And this finished the proof. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.